Hello dear viewers. I am near the rock dumps, now I will collect here various stones about 300 kilograms, and then I will extract gold. It is windy in this place today. In this video I will check how much precious metal can be extracted from simple ore. My goal is to find out how much gold can be extracted with a centrifugal concentrator from associated ore. Not far from here they extracted rich gold-bearing veins, and this stone was thrown into the dumps, but it also contains gold, 10 to 15 grams per ton. This is another episode where you will learn more about my future prospects. I plan to shoot very interesting and educational videos here. If you are interested in this, then subscribe to this YouTube channel, soon I will show different unusual videos. The previous two episodes, including this one, were shot for the initial start on the new channel to gain some audience, and it attracted a certain audience, thanks for this, friends. So, my task, what is it now? Search for gold, testing different equipment, new and simple ways to extract gold by available means. Well, a moment has passed and I am home, now I will break this stone, which contains precious metals. This is what this stone looks like, with characteristic signs of iron oxidation, rusty color, partially containing sulfides of pyrite, galena and chalcopyrite, but not only. Also, on some samples there are signs of copper salts. Now the task is simple, pour the stone out of the bags and prepare it for the hammer crusher. Now I will slowly beat it and crush it further, but in order not to do this manually I will need to make a jaw crusher, this will help quickly turn hundreds of kilograms of stone into crushed stone. For example, I have already made a powerful ball mill for 200 kilograms, but I will not use it today, this will be in the next video. all the stone from the bags, there is another bag of stone behind the camera, with blue ore, and now, gentlemen, I will show you what stone we are talking about. The stone I am showing you contains not only gold, but also a high copper content, its color is due to copper salts. I will shoot a separate story about such stones, in which I will extract a kilogram or several of copper. Some of this ore is found together with rusty stone in the place where I collected this. This is a very dusty job, some protective equipment is necessary, and you can wet the stone with water, then there will be no dust at all. In the future, I will make it so that you don't have to do it by hand, I will make a hole in the lid, and the crushed stone will pour into the container itself.
I've already crushed half of the stones, maybe an hour has passed, I didn't count the time. I'm taking my time doing this, I need to chop two such full basins of stones today and rinse them. There are about 100 kilograms in each such container, and now one is full. It takes about 15 minutes for one wash, which is the easiest. Centrifugal enrichment. The resulting slurry can only be refined later and receive gold. Over there, in the square basin and behind it, the green one, I have already washed, received two concentrates, and this is at least two grams of gold. I feed the crushed material to this chute, through which this fraction flows evenly onto the sieve. The sieve is small, its diameter is 1 mm, it is enough to capture all the gold. And if the grains of gold turn out to be larger, they will linger on the trough, into which I put an insert made of a rubber mat with recesses. But believe me, dear viewers, such moments are rare. Most of the gold is very fine, 15% of the gold is visible to the eye, the rest is invisible. If you use a deep cyst dredge or manually wash it with a mining tray, you will lose 98% of the gold and even everything. The reason may be a very dirty solution, which increases its density and the dredge metal is easily washed out, you also need to be able to use the dredge correctly, everything matters here. The angle of the dredge, the correct amount of water, special mats, a large fraction of the soil cannot be washed, Pieces of stone will also knock gold out of the dredge, and this is not all the problems. I'd rather make a separate release, but the centrifugal concentrator, on the contrary, captures all the gold by at least 99% at once, given that the stone was crushed to dust using the right technology.
This basin contains gold, both small and large. Basically, gold is like dust, and if this gold dust is collected, the sediment will not be yellow, but brown, since the sediment is finely dispersed. This is the kind of slurry we managed to get, an approximate amount of 3 kilograms, which contains at least 1 gram of gold, is the smallest. It took about 15 minutes to wash, it's a pleasure to work, this is the easiest stage of production. Please note that I drain the excess water carefully, but do not pour it on the floor, so as not to lose the golden dust. Then I take a sample by simply rinsing with a mining tray to find out how much coarse gold is contained, and after that I pour everything into one large basin. Then I let it settle for a day, during which time all the gold particles settle to the bottom of the basin, then I drain the excess water and process the concentrate using other methods, I will show this in other stories. This time, there was almost no large gold visible to the eye. I could put 10 or even 50 grams of real gold for a beautiful picture, but I don't want to deceive you. I have a lot of gold, but my goal is to show you how it really works. Dear viewers, this does not mean that I broke and crushed these stones in vain, I also know that these stones contain gold, because I have already processed many tons of them. As I have said many times, Gold in such ores is mostly elusive and invisible to the human eye, since the particles are micron-sized. This rust-colored water that you see is literally filled with suspended gold particles. It's hard to count how many of them there are. That's a good question, of course. I managed to extract such a piece of gold from 300 kilograms of these stones. I didn't take everything off on purpose, but I can say that I used flotation to extract gold microparticles from the concentrate. And then I fused the resulting flotation concentrate with lead, and from the resulting workly I extracted this piece of gold by cupellation. I received gold that was not of the highest grade, and there are other metals present, silver, copper, and a little lead. At the end of this video, I will insert a photo with a spectral analysis that I did at a nearby pawn shop, and you can see how many percent of pure gold. Also, dear sirs, take a look at the stones and ores that I will analyze in future projects. Serious work is ahead, I will check the stones for precious metals, and if there are such signs, I will already check 300 or 500 kilograms. This is the end, to be continued, in the next issue I plan to show how I extract gold from the obtained concentrates, the end.